Hello, I'm Proton and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will create a notification bell in Adobe Illustrator. Great. So to create a bell notification icon, all we have to do is to click on the rectangle to click on the artboard, change the width to 150 pixels, and then the height to 200 pixels and click on OK. Make sure everything is aligned and centered. Click on the artboard or any space on the artboard. Keep the width 150 pixels and change the height to one third of it. And click on OK. Perfect. Now with the same rectangle selected, hold Shift to click on it again to select it and make it the center of reference. Now make sure the small circle is aligned and centered to the bottom of the bigger rectangle. Now what we have to do here is to select everything again, go to the pathfinder and click on the group or we create a compound shape. This will create pivot points at on the rectangle which we need. Now move to the toolbox and click on the direct selection tool. Click and drag over the bottom corner of the rectangle. Go to the toolbox again and click on the scale tool. Now you would see a little icon that appears on it. Now with holding Alt or Command depending on the PC you are using, make sure it's select a uniform is selected and then change the value to 150. And you can click anywhere if with the preview selected you can click anywhere to view the changes and click on ok that is great now with the direct selection tool selected drag over the top corners of the rectangle and then move the points down to we have a nice shape at the top great now do same for the middle point and drag so we can have a nice rounded bell and then you still do same for the bottom corners and then we can shape it to any how we want it now go to the act box click and hold the rectangle tool and then select the ellipse tool Click on any space on the artboard and change the width to 20 and the height to 20. Then click on OK. Then we can have a nice circle at the top. Now, don't forget to align. Click on the circle ellipse tool again, select on it, click on any space on the artboard, change the width to 40 pixels this time around, and the height 40 pixels, and click on OK. Now we'll have a bigger rectangle. then we can align it to the center. This is great. Now, we would bring it down a little, select the line, select to, and then create a line to divide the ellipse or the circle we just created. Make sure it is aligned perfectly well. To do that, you can always select the two shapes together and select on the center of attraction and then align them perfectly well. Select everything again and then you can, on your keyboard, hold down Shift and M to give you the shape builder tool or you can go to the toolbox to select the shape builder to hold out 
to delete the parts you really don't want, which is the perfect. Then the extra fields created, which we don't want, so you can delete them as well. And what we do is to align it perfectly to the bottom of the bell. So with this, you have your notification bell created successfully. You can position the top circle to any part of the bell you want. You can bring it to the center and then with the shape builder tool, you can join the part to have something like this. But I want it, I prefer it this way, so I'll keep it that way. Select on all of them, all the shapes we have created, double click on the colors, and then you can choose any color you want. In this case, I'll go with blue. Click on the strokes and then select none to give us no strokes. Select all of them, hold control and G to group them, then align them perfectly to the center. Great. So this is our notification bell. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.